Today I'm holding my ticket to the Prime Minister of Sri Lanka. <laughs> A confident-sounding political leader of the United National Congress, Kamla Prasad Bisasa, just after filing nomination papers to contest the constituency of Separia. And while she is confident of a UNC win in the upcoming general election, she is warning supporters to be vigilant. Whatever voter padding may take place, whatever ways of forcing people, I've been told that people have been offered um, $7,000 and $10,000 in order to do certain things to influence the vote. She said in the lead up to the election, the party may face several challenges, but told supporters that the country's future is at stake. The most important issue now is do you want five more years of the same that we've been having, of the corruption, of the waste, of the squander mania? Can this country afford to go down the same old road under the Manning regime? But even as she filed her nomination papers, Basad Bisesa was defending former High Court Judge Herbert Volney in his decision to contest the St. Joseph constituency. He is acting totally within the law of Trinidad and Tobago, within his civil rights and his constitutional rights. He is now citizen Volney, like anyone else, is a citizen with a right to offer themselves as a candidate and with a right to represent people in the Parliament of Trinidad and Tobago. For CNC3, I'm Roshan Sakram.